What truly are the risks of using generative AI for your games? Well, there might be a few. Let's take a look. I'll start with the biggest ones straight away. Copyright risks. So the question of whether generative AI tools trained on data they didn't have the rights for are copyright infringing is still quite unclear. Integrating AI into your workflow can bring significant improvement, but there's also a risk of future legal complications if copyright laws don't evolve favorably towards AI usage. These potential legal challenges could result in costly or even unfeasible modifications during the development phase of your game. However, the situation is gradually stabilizing as seen with Steam's acceptance of AI-generated content. But despite this progress, the risks are still very real. Steam might allow you to use AI tools for your game, but only because they are shifting the responsibility and blame entirely onto you if anything AI-related in your game gets in trouble. Even more concerning is the lack of communication from other popular app and game stores like Google and Apple. It might be that you're making a mobile game utilizing AI and then out of nowhere Apple and Google decide to ban games made using AI. Personally, I think this is unlikely, but it is at the very least advised that you use tools that clearly disclose the training data it has used. Sadly, there is a significant lack of transparency in the training data used by the most popular generative AI tools. So if you're using any of the popular tools, you are exposing yourself to these risks. However, there is an AI-driven 3D tool that 100% doesn't infringe any copyright laws and that is our very own tool, Sloyd. But we'll talk more about Sloyd later on. For now, let's move on. The second risk is inconsistency. There is no denying that AI is capable of producing visually stunning and captivating creations. However, it's important to recognize that there is a significant limitation in its current state, consistency. When leveraging AI for creative tasks, especially in game development, this inconsistency can become quite a notable issue. The use of AI-generated asset might lead to a final product that just feels disjointed. Kind of like if you mash together various asset packs of different styles into a single game. This is why it's essential to maintain a keen eye for consistency and fine-tune your prompts to ensure that your AI-generated content aligns with your game's overarching style and theme. This might involve additional steps like manually adjusting the different assets. We game devs need to learn how to use the innovative power of AI and still create a cohesive and engaging gaming experience for our audience. The third risk is something I've been personally very worried about. Using AI could lead to a lack of self-improvement and skill degradation. There's no denying that AI can make your life quite a bit easier. AI can help you with coding, designing and documentation to name a few. But with those benefits come some risks that scare me more than the other ones on this list. Using AI to take shortcuts could slow the development and improvement of my skills and even go as far as degrading the skills I've spent so long building up. Relying on AI to find and create solutions could lead to me being unable to create my own solutions. But on the other hand, I also want to learn how to use these tools to stay relevant in this industry. It's important to balance our AI use because I fear that this shift could lead to a future generation of programmers and designers who not only are less skilled but also less innovative. Okay, now let's take a look at the ethical side of things. Generative AI comes with a lot of exciting opportunities, but at what cost? AI is disrupting entire industries, leading to a significant change in the job market. Many skilled individuals fear to lose their jobs to an AI that has learned from their collective works. It's a tricky situation that urgently requires a thoughtful solution. But in the meantime, I don't believe that you should stop using AI. We need to adapt and prepare our skill sets to include the newest technologies. By doing so, you are strengthening your own value in this quickly diminishing job market. However, we can't forget that this is a big shakeup for a lot of people. And so let's at least try not to make things harder for them. Finally, if your game or whatever product you are making is aimed at people in these fields, like other game devs or artists, you might want to think twice about using generative AI tools. So just be mindful of who your audience actually is.
Now, before we move on to the last risk, let's quickly talk about Sloyd. Sloyd AI leverages text input to generate game-ready, optimized 3D assets. We have trained an AI system capable of interpreting your description to customize our procedural assets. And the best thing is, we are doing this with our own data, so that you never run into any copyright issues using Sloyd. Sloyd is free for up to three downloads per month, and we even have a 50% discount promo running until the 1st of March. Go check out Sloyd in the description, and if you end up subscribing, use the promo code SLOYDYT2024 at checkout. Again, this promo code is only valid until the 1st of March. Now, the last and final risk is in a way a combination of all my previous points. Unpredictability. Generative AI is very new, and like most new tools, it comes with unpredictability. Not only from the previously discussed legal perspective, but also its overall future availability and capabilities. We don't know what AI will look like in the future. It could be that the energy consumption that is required to keep these AIs running is unsustainable and therefore AI becomes a lot less available. Or maybe AI gets banned to preserve our economy. Or maybe ChatGPT takes over the world and we all live in fear for the rest of our lives. My point is, we have no clue what is going to happen and therefore we should try to not overly rely on AI and continue to focus on improving our own skills but at the same time also grow our knowledge in the AI field. And that's all. Check out Sloyd in the description and maybe watch this video here which goes over 5 incredible AI tools to use in 2024.